There's a deeper reason of why we do it, though. And if you can connect to that deeper reason, if you can connect to that feeling, you now won. You won because you'll force yourself to do it for that result. Um, fitness, same thing, guys. Um, I always said back in the day, you guys have probably heard this a million times. There's different levels, right? Of setting these goals. And that goes the same with fitness. A lot of you, every single year, come January, you set a freaking fitness goal. And it's like, hey, I'm going to hit the gym three times a week, twice a week, or I'm going to run uh, five miles a week, uh, one mile a day for five days or whatever it is. You set those surface level goals and that's what they are. I understand it's still more than what most of the world does, but it's not you. And you do have more control when you set deeper and deeper goals. So I need you to go deep. It's not, hey, I'm going to run five miles a week or one mile a day for five days because that doesn't give you an emotion. When Josh Osborne says, I'm going to run five miles a week or one mile a day for five days, I get no emotion out of it. I get nothing. It's like, okay, I'm going to run five miles. What the fuck is that? No, I'm going to run five miles because of my fucking belly fat, my bitch titties right? My double chin. What is it that's going to cause an emotion towards that goal? So that when you think of that goal, we don't fear it anymore because our desire to lose our double chin, our desire to lose our bitch tits, our desire to get rid of our belly fat drives us to go and handle that situation to reach that goal and get that. Go deep. I can't stress this enough. Go deep. That's all you need. Each and every one of you just need to go deep. Everything else will take care of itself. Your subconscious mind will force you into taking action, will force you to get in here and get the work done. And going deep is your passion. Going deep is your passion. You need to understand that. If, if a lot of you raised your hands at the beginning of this and said, hey, I'm having a hard time finding my passion, you're having a hard time finding your passion because you haven't went deep on the four Fs. If you go deep on the four Fs, that is your passion. That is your life. That is what you want to create, right? That that's, that's all you need, right? So fitness, once again, go deep. Let's go and find those things, how we feel, what we're eating. We can't just say, hey, I'm going to eat healthier. I hear a lot of people say this all the time. Oh, Josh, I'm going to eat healthier. Cool. What does that mean? What does that mean, Sean? What does that mean, Tanya? What does that mean, Jessica? What does it mean to eat healthier? What does it do for you? What emotion do you get out of it? Right? Because if I'm not if I'm not deriving an emotion, a feeling out of my goals, then I'm not doing them. So you got to go deep. We got to dig out those feelings. We got to dig out those emotions. We got to understand why we do what we do. And we got to stop letting the world tell us what we're supposed to be doing in this in this life. You got to you got to fucking plan it. You got to design it. You got to lay it out. And then we got to put in the work for it, right? So, go deep on your fitness goals. I want you guys to go deep. What are they? What are they and why why are they there? I'm not telling you you have to go say, "Hey, I'm going to run fucking 50 miles a week, 100 miles a week." I'm not telling you to be unrealistic. I'm not. I'm just telling you whatever goal you set in this area, Whatever goal it is, make sure there's an emotion tied to that goal. Because if you have an emotion, if you have a feeling when that goal comes up, when 6 a.m. hits hits the alarm clock and you got to get up like me, run downstairs, jump in a cold plunge for 10 minutes in 30 degree freaking water, right? When you're freezing for 10 minutes and then you have to get out, go into your sauna, overheat yourself, go on a hike, right? It's like, meditate it's like when you're when you're forcing yourself into those you're forcing yourself into those not because you like to i don't think any of us really like to do that right there's a deeper reason of why we do it though and if you can connect to that deeper reason if you can connect to that feeling you now won you won because you'll force yourself to do it for that result and that's what i'm trying to get to 